This is VRFS, and I assume that many people got a new VR headset for Christmas. This is kind of just a beginner's guide. Also, did I mention I'm trying to hit 900 subs before the new year? So it'd be really great if you could help me out. One tip that I will give you is when you're dribbling, you only have to tap the ball really, really lightly because it rips, it's surprising, it does not take a lot of force to kick the ball pretty far away. Also, I forgot to mention, you have to press A on your right controller to spawn a ball in. So just some useful mechanics, if you if you like, to kind of throw defenders off a bit. When I hit it with, like, say, my left foot, I do a step over with my right foot. It's just kind of like, it's just a bit off-putting, to be honest. It doesn't really do much. And then another thing as well, if you find there's lots of defenders in front of you and you want to, you have nowhere to go, you can get both your feet and on the ball and drag it back. And I know there's a way you can like glitch dribble, but I'm not into these glitch things. I'm not a glitch dribbler. I would not recommend that, but you can drag the ball back. And it's just about really light little taps trying to keep it under control. Alright, now for the, the main bit that most people probably installed the game for, the shooting. Now what a lot of new players will do is they'll try and toe poke it. Toe poking does not work in this game, alright? Unless you put your hand at a very a very stupid angle. So when you're taking a shot, hold down the trigger to get your toe nice and pointed. You want to try and strike, alright, this is just basic ball mechanics. Strike underneath, it goes up. Strike the middle, it goes like a little bit off the ground. And if you want it to roll along the ground, and if you want it to roll along the ground, just... Sh just strike... Just strike the top. That's useful for passing as well. I wouldn't put I didn't put passing into its own category because it's not really needed. But yeah, when passing, aim to hit like the top of the ball. So it rolls along the ground. And of course, the way you can improve your passing and shooting accuracy is just with practice, pretty much. But how my favorite way to shoot is to just power it in. So just use a lot of power, strike the middle of the ball if you can with your pointed foot bang like that almost it's all about just it's all about practice obviously but that where you hit the ball will depend how high or low it goes obviously and what i tend to find is the more power the more powerful it is the better the shot is really also there's another there's another shooting technique which involves you not pointing your foot and hitting it like on the outside of the foot i don't tend to use this but a lot of people prefer this, so it's all just down to preference. I prefer to just do a classic shot like that. Next thing, it's still sh on the shooting topic really, is penalties. Because, obviously with the new recent updates, there are rules that allow there to be penalties and penalty shootouts. The run-up doesn't really matter, okay? I'll tell you something about um, VRFS physics. No, the, re the speed you're running has absolutely no impact of the power on the ball, okay? Oh, you want to aim not necessarily for a top or bottom corner, but just for the either the right or the left side, really. Also, you need to try and get curve on your shots. Now, it's very, very easy to get curve. <coughs> like that. You can do left curve, which kind of curves it round like this. Or you can curve it round to the right, a bit like that. Next thing, I'm just going to go over some goalkeeping things. So, you press B on your right controller to switch to the gloves. And if you press RT in the gloves, you dive, kind of. As a keeper, never ever use the gloves. I'll tell you they exist, but you're better off just using the legs because the hitbox on these is way bigger. But if you want to practice goalkeeping, go to this goal here in solo practice switch to the gloves and then switch back to legs and these machines will fire balls at you at random i think so you kind of have to look see which one it is and save it another tip to remember as well is that you can move just because they're your legs you can move them up in the air like they're your arms and if say you were pressuring someone who was trying to get a pass off you you can run at them with your arms big like this to make yourself bigger so you can hopefully block their pass easier. So, now you've practiced all the mechanics and you're ready to try and go into some games. But, oh, 
what was all of this? What does this mean? Well, I'm gonna tell you, so don't you worry. So here you have your equipment and the store, which you can buy all your accessories and stuff, your hats and all that. I have none, because I lost them all. You can recalibrate your height. Settings, I don't actually know, it just like about turning snap on, what language it is and stuff. On this in the top left is your rating, which basically doesn't really show how skilled you are, it pretty much just shows how long you've been playing the game for. Now, if you want to play with a friend, then if they tell you a code, you press the search button here and type it in to join the lobby. So in a game that's 4v4, there's obviously 4 aside, there's always red and blue team, and no rules is as it is, there is no rules. The light rules is where there's only goal kicks and corners. Strict rules includes um, free kicks and penalties. Strict rules plus also includes offsides. My personal favourite would be just strict rules. And I would go for either 3v3 or 4v4 I find is a good number of people. Oh yeah, you can also change your name and shirt number. If you just click on this top left, you can change your name and number. So once you find a lobby you like, you just click on it. And it should just take you in. It'll say connect into server. It should just take you in. So that's pretty much everything you need to know. If there's anything you need help with or any questions you have, just put them down in the comments. And this is one of my all-time favourite VR games, so... It definitely has the potential to be, like, more popular than Gorilla Tag, definitely. It just, um, it isn't quite as popular as it, sh as it could be at the moment.